Well, at least one state has enough decency to indict Netflix for the disgusting cuties movie that they put out about a month ago now. Texas has decided to indict Netflix, and this is a really good thing. This is awesome. So let's go ahead and get right into the story, and we will find out all that we need to find out about this story. So the state of Texas indicts Netflix for a cuties film. A grand jury in Tyler County, uh, Texas, has indicted Netflix and charged them with the promotion of lewd visual material depicting uh, children for the promotion and distribution of the film Cuties, which is exactly what this film is about. If you know anything about the actual content in this movie, then you know that this is a pretty good, uh, accurate description of what is in there. So they were indicted under the Texas Penal Code Section 43262 that declares a person commits an offense if the person knowingly possesses access with intent to view or promotes visual visual material that depicts the lewd exhibi exhibition of the uh the private areas of an unclothed partially clothed or clothed uh, uh child who's younger than 18 years of age at the time the visual material was created appeals to the purient interest in sex and has no serious literary artistic or scientific value according to the law an offense under this section is a state jail uh felony except that the offense is um a felony of the third degree if it is shown on the trial of the offense that the person has been previously convicted one time of an offense under this section uh so the section concludes it is not a defense to prosecution under the section that the depicted child consented to the creation of the visual material the indictment shared to social media by sworn podcast host philip holloway reveals it was issued on september 15th so this is this is good stuff because while California on one hand is actually making laws right now that allows uh you know people who do terrible stuff to children to basically get away with it more Texas is actually going after Netflix. That is good. As reported by Variety, Netflix responded to the indictment sta stating, Cuties is a social commentary against the sexualization of young children. This charge is without merit, and we stand by the film. So after all of the crap that has been going on, after all of the backlash, this is the movie that Netflix decides to get behind. Now, imagine that it was a, some sort of movie that, that maybe had uh, something that wasn't deemed woke enough by the woke mob. And the woke mob then decided to go after Netflix about something that they put in one of their movies that was not SJW friendly. I, you can bet your ass that Netflix would be taking down that content and issuing a, a very very woke apology for it but because it has to do with something that it seems like netflix and most people in hollywood are getting more behind by the day in regards to what we do with our children that is absolutely disgusting they are going to defend this film to the death which is horrific stuff that is absolutely horrific Texas Representative Matt Schaefer publicly called for Texas Attorney General Paxson's office to investigate the film. He wrote on Twitter, I have asked a Texas Attorney General Paxson's office to investigate the Netflix film Cuties for possible violations of child um, exploitation and child uh, prawn laws. So... That is good. It is good to see that at least someone is going after Netflix for this. Not only has the film faced calls for investigation from elected officials, but the Parents Television Council also called on Netflix to remove the film from their streaming service. And they won't. Netflix won't. After all of the crap that they have been through, after, after all of the backlash from every side of the political spectrum, Netflix refuses. Which just goes to show just how depraved Netflix is Hollywood is that they would rather they would rather die on the hill defending these types of movies rather than actually wake up and realize hey you know what maybe regardless of what the actual message is of this film maybe this depiction isn't really the best way to be handling this type of content but no 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 netflix is totally ready to stand by this film no matter what which is insane absolutely insane so here's the the director of the movie uh she apparently this is a an interview that she did with netflix an exclusive interview where she said why i made cuties and i don't really give a crap why she made cuties 
I don't give a crap. She could have the most pure message in the world about how, you know, sexualizing children is such a bad thing. But if she is literally in the same movie that she is calling out that issue, then in that same movie, sexualizing children, then you completely, de just completely destroy your entire purpose. And I don't understand how nobody seems to get this. It blows my mind. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Well done, Texas, for doing this. And I hope that more states will follow in your footsteps. I hope that more people follow in your footsteps. That more people will wake up to see, hey, you know what? This is not a good thing to be out there on the internet. Totally available to anyone. Totally in the mainstream. This is not a good thing. This sets a really bad precedent moving forward for the culture and for our future. So, hope you guys enjo enjoyed. Subscribe for new here to Geeks and Gamers. I'd greatly appreciate that. That means a lot to me. means a lot to all of us here. Uh, and also go check out my personal channel as well, Josiah Rises, and subscribe there if you haven't yet. I'd appreciate that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you later. Bye.